Thank you for joining us for the news at 10. Howard has the night off. Well, COVID cases are on the rise, and so are the cases among children. The state is seeing a steep increase in pediatric infections in the last week. Max Rodriguez spoke with a pediatrician about the signs parents should look out for in a story that's new at 10. The Department of Health says about 20 to 25 percent of the daily COVID cases this past week are in children. A pediatrician says parents should be extra careful when making social plans, especially if their keiki are not yet eligible for the vaccine. This graph from the Department of Health shows the dramatic spike in cases among children under 17 years old, averaging 91 cases during the last week of July. So there definitely are more pediatric patients being diagnosed, but luckily there is a range of disease, you know, from asymptomatic to mild or severe, and that can vary depending on the age and the underlying conditions that a child may have in terms of hospitalizations. Dr. Natasha Ching says more children are being treated for COVID than before. I can't speak to the exact number right now, but we know that we have seen some young children and some older children that have been hospitalized. Um, I don't think our trend is as high as we have heard about in some of the southern states, you know, within our nation. Um, but they're definitely, um, from the pediatric colleagues that have been in touch with, that there are definitely more pediatric patients hospitalized. Like in adults, symptoms and severity of illness still depends on the child's age and underlying medical conditions. Symptoms to look out for include cough, nasal congestion, sore throat, fever, nausea, vomit, and diarrhea. Any of those symptoms that we talked about should be a, a reason for families to test. Or if they have a contact with someone with COVID-19, or if you know they've been advised by the school setting. Dr. Ching adds, if your child had COVID, you should continue to monitor for other symptoms such as bloodshot eyes and abdominal pain. These could be signs of a rare but severe illness called multi-inflammatory syndrome in children triggered by COVID. Dr. Ching says there's been about a dozen cases in the state so far. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.